Hi right, guys. So today we are going to replant my garden. But let me show you what the rabbits did. They took a row, and this row is old, but it's whatever. Took a row of green beans that looked like this, and turned two rows into what looks like this. We're gonna get started here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It doesn't take very long. Um, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna get my rake. I'm going to rake this one row smooth. I'm also going to plant some more pink eyes. Oops. And I apologize. I'm filming with one hand trying to do all this. It'll be okay. So what did it take? 15, 20 seconds? It's so much better than digging a furrow and dropping them in by hand and covering them up. Look, my back's bad enough as it is. Let's Normally I take my propane torch, propane torch, propane torch, and burn the weeds out of there. But crabgrass and any other grasses, it just keeps coming back. So I figured I'd take it up by the root and pull it up as it comes. I know that wasn't the straightest, but I was doing it with one hand trying to show you how the seed dropped through the planter. So, if you look, it's got this little V cone on the bottom. This is what makes the furrow for the seeds drop into. You control how shallow or how deep you want the seeds. Beans you can plant anywhere from half an inch to three quarters of an inch. You can do a little bit deeper. I don't know. It's hot. I don't know if I want to make a brand new row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pitch pork, pitch fork length width, whatever it is, seven, eight inches. Go and then so it'll be like strip tilling and row crops. Um, but I want to put two more rows a piece side by side in here. Just a little bit of lime per row. So just a quarter cup for this 25 foot of row is plenty.
ground is so dry right here. It's not accepted in water. You see that? Right there. Like herding cats. Come on. Go. 